Congratulations to you all on the film. Uh, and I'm sat here looking at the main character and and his wife and his dad and all very crucial relationships to the film. Was that part of the attraction for doing it? Yeah, there's a light at the end of the tunnel in this. It's not, it's obviously a very tough subject, but it's, yeah, what we need to do. Next. No, no, I, I was gonna say, it, it is interesting, yeah, the dynamic of the relationships is definitely interesting. David, um, I mean, the difference, the, the, the difference of relationship between him and his mother, him and his father, him and his, him and Vanessa, you know, they're, they're extremely different. So, you know, we share one scene in this film, I think, um, but it's poignantly done because it's a very, very effective scene and one that's uh, necessary just to show what kind of, uh, what kind of catastrophes happen between them, really, you know, what kind of problems there are. Um, but yeah, I think the dynamics was definitely a draw for it, yeah. And the fact that you're playing real people as well, how much of that was an appeal, or indeed a challenge, actually, because of the responsibility, maybe, that goes with it? I felt like a real privilege, and also a huge, obviously a huge responsibility. It was invaluable to be able to be with them and, and talk with them and research it and prepare that way. And David was there often on the set, almost most days which was tough for him but he would say it's about the message and that's what he would tell himself repeatedly to get himself through it that the, the message is important I suppose that says something about the honesty that goes with the film I mean that was what struck me was that something that appe appealed to you as well the fact that he's so, so incredibly honest yeah and he's, for, he's forthcoming with his experiences so He's at a point now where he's discussed this subject so often and readily that he can he can let you in um, to a shameless extent, which is ideal. You know, we don't. It would be really difficult to try and uh, mould this film around his experience if he was unwilling to commit to giving it to us. But he was, and he's, it's through his own bravery that he's able to do that. I don't think I'd be able to do it, to be honest with you. I think he'd stand in admiration of him for that. But he can, he'll take you through an experience and he's able to relive it. And, but like, um, you know, like Emily said, it's, it's because he's fueled by, he knows that this message might just be able to help someone. It's someone might be able to say, that's me, or I know someone like that. So it's important to him. And that importance overrules his fear. Okay. Dougary, you've got the unenviable task of playing somebody who doesn't have a single redeeming feature, as far as I can tell. How on earth well, do you go about portraying somebody like that? Well, I think that he doesn't think he doesn't have any redeeming features. He thinks that he's doing the best with the circumstances and the cards that he's been dealt. and He's trying in his own way to... I guess, um, make himself be relevant in the world that he occupies. You see that in the, the earlier scenes in South Africa where he, he's deeply uncomfortable and slightly embarrassed about the position that he finds himself in, having, he thinks, in his eyes, been promised a different kind of office, life, as it were. And he uses the people around him to um, find the power that he feels has been taken away from him. So he abuses his wife and his son, um, both different reasons, but I think his own experience as a child informs his relationship with his son. And, you know, it's tragic, really, when you think about um, the effects that his behaviour has on not only his wife, but obviously David as well. And uh, he's kind of, it's inevitable in a way, because he can't stop himself, you know. He's a deeply complex character. Um, Would you say um, he's damaged as well? Oh, deeply damaged, yeah, deeply damaged. And the smallest thing makes such a huge difference to him. The, the perception that he thinks other people have of him matters greatly to him. And his, um, the people in his world, how his work colleagues treat him, how his wife treats him. In his house, he feels that he should be king, and he demands that kind of respect. Yeah. And... You know, it doesn't end well. And then, of course, later in life, he comes to see his son again, and 
in some ways because he, he's he's very very uptight and you can see he's like a powder keg when he's older and he comes back and sees David in some ways he's kind of relaxed into who he is and he seems a much more content human being which is kind of ironic Emily, we're seeing you at the moment in cinemas in Little Joe, yes. which is a very restrained very performance. Yeah. How much did this role give you the chance to let rip? Oh, it's <laughs> extremely different. Yeah, it's very, uh, Little Joe is very choreographed and restrained. This was um, a very cathartic and much more visceral experience. It was, it was, it was a very uh, moving experience working on this true story with these people. And I don't think you and Mark have, have worked together before, no. so I wondered how you managed to create your on-screen relationship. Did you actually have the luxury of rehearsals? We did. Yeah, we did actually. Yeah. We? Um, I'm going to I'm going to compliment you, but he's, um, <laughs> he's, Mark is incredibly perceptive and his performance is so intelligent and he also, we, we managed to have this nice friendship and I think that really helped, but I felt very safe and supported by Mark and I think that's super important because it reflects their relationship. Obviously, we had to do a lot of intimate and very aggressive scenes, and um, but also they had a rapport and a humour and there's things that he truly, really, desperately valued in Vanessa that um, comes that that we needed trust for each other in order to be able to do. Yeah, we summed up perfectly. Yeah, and it and it really Absolutely shows in the film. It really shows. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.